disturbing new details tonight emerging as the autopsy for Dana Wilkes is released. Now she's the woman who went missing back in November and whose body was found dismembered along the banks of the South Chickamauga Creek off Youngstown Road in Chattanooga. News Channel Line's John Madewell has been following this story for months. John? Well, first off, Calvin and Kim, we want to warn viewers about the graphic nature of this autopsy. It provides more information about what happened to Dana Wilkes after her death, but exactly how she died remains unknown. This much we know about the life of Dana Wilkes. The 48-year-old, very petite woman worked at the dialysis clinic on East 3rd Street, and friends described her as very sweet and loving. But her last hours alive took a very dark turn. On November 25th, a passerby found her dismembered body off Youngstown Road. Earlier, her Jeep had been found nearby with blood splatter inside. And this morning, with the release of the autopsy, we learn it appears her head was removed with some kind of tool. Her hands were severed at the mid-forearm. The autopsy shows all of this happened post-mortem. While the cause of death remains unknown, the circumstances are consistent with homicide. The autopsy also shows that Wilkes had methadone and alcohol in her system. Now, police accuse this man, Tony Biggums, of killing Wilkes and abusing her corpse. Back in December, her husband, Tom Wilkes, spoke with us in a jailhouse interview. He was there on traffic charges and had been there when his wife disappeared and her body was discovered. Two times during that lengthy interview, he mentioned a man named Tony as being responsible for his wife's death. He made the last phone call to her phone. And I think he probably tricked her or some kind of way got her to come out because he trusted him. About seven weeks after that interview, Tom Wilkes died of natural causes. But before his death, he talked to investigators and identified his wife by butterfly and Mickey Mouse tattoos on her legs. But his testimony as a key witness in this case will be missed. Now, because this case is still under investigation, police are not talking, and a motive remains unclear. Now, this afternoon, we reached out to Dana Wilkes' family, but have not heard back from them. Calvin.